Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and all of you have seen the one shots with Medusa, which I think is absolutely fantastic, but you haven't seen them with Black Bolt, and a lot of you are requesting a free-to-play team that you could use, do this with, other than the fact that you're going to have to have Weapon Hex. Now, everybody, a lot of people do have her, and you will need her. It's just extremely difficult if you don't have the character because you need that 100% all defense down, and this is going to be the free-to-play setup. All of these characters are free to play. There's other characters that you can put in Black Bolt's position that could probably do the same thing. But today it's all about Black Bolt. Black Bolt's really awesome for this because, one, he's got this crazy leadership that's going to be self-buffing for him. The 65% increase of all attack is wonderful because you can use this in the leadership role. You definitely want Captain America because Captain America, when he's teamed up with Taskmaster, will do his four skill that has this all defense down that starts off at 10%. It does stack up to 30%, but we all know about Captain America and Weapon Hex. Back in the day, we used this combo left and right. We'd use Captain America with Weapon Hex as both strikers, but when they changed the strikers, ever since then, now two strikers, their doll defense down does not stack on top of each other. You have to have one playable character that has it all defense down, and then you use Weapon Hex as a striker and you'll get that 100% all defense down for that five second duration from weapon hex the first time you try it depending on your resist levels and your conquer levels really depends on whether or not it's going to work again right away and that's why you want this to work the first time uh, it really just depends on your resist levels taskmaster coincidentally actually does his fist skill which actually does have all defense down and stacks up to 55%. So you got Captain America that's starting off at 10. You got this guy that caps at 55. It really doesn't matter. Actually, you only need Captain America, but Captain America will only do that four skill with Taskmaster and a couple other characters. And I'll show you that in a second. But Taskmaster is completely free. Now, Taskmaster does have a sweet uniform effect, which is really awesome. Applies to all allies, increased damage dealt to superheroes or supervillains. So it's absolutely wonderful that you have this guy, this guy, the relevance of this character, uh, his stocks just went up big time because you could put him with another free to play character like Captain America, use Weapon X as a striker, and then put some damage dealing character in the leadership or maybe in a different role, depending on what you need, probably in the leadership though, because Captain America and Taskmaster don't really offer anything as far as leaderships. I mean, Captain America has HP, but and Taskmasters isn't very good at all. But it's just awesome that you had this 40%. So not only is he helping as a co-op striker, but you're getting that 40% damage to superheroes or supervillains, which is going to work in all the mutant world bosses, the regular world bosses that we're all used to facing. This is freaking fantastic. And if you have a character with the weapon master ally tag you'll also get this guaranteed critical rate and the skill damage by the way just to let you all know i did try this with wolverine and no the damage just wasn't there uh it just wasn't there there might be a way to pull it off i might have to do some more experimenting but if you're just using the fist skill nope it does not work and you know, Taskmaster, he's easy to level up, easy to be free to play. Captain America doesn't need to be tier 3. All you need is this uniform. That's all you need for this guy. As far as my Black Bolt build, nothing's changed. He has 46,600 energy attack. He has 128 attack speed, 52 crit rate. That's going to be max from his fifth skill. He has 191 critical damage, max ignore defense, max skill cooldown, and 67% dodge. He has a pretty good build. He has all mythic urus, all amplified slots. And when you're doing the one shot, all you want to do is you're going to hit your co-op skill. You're going to hit this third skill to get the damage accumulation. Then you're going to hit this fifth skill to get the 40% all attack buff and the 40% crit rate buff. And then you're going to go into your fourth skill. Now I'm running with a CTP of Rage and I can tell you with Black Bolt, I think a Rage would be better because you have to get this fifth skill to... You need to get him to do the stomp. You know, if we come in here, I'll show you this really quick. All of you already probably know this, but I'll show it anyways, just so you all can see this. Whenever you cancel the three to the five, he knows he needs to do that stomp and then do the four skill. That way you get this wave and you're going to be doing that much more damage. You have to get, he's got to do the stomp, then the four. And you see, I canceled just a little bit too early. There we go. 
There we go. I canceled just a little too early. You got to let it play a little bit. And if you're playing with a damage proc, well, it's going to trigger the proc. So if you're run with a proc, and I think this will probably work with a damage proc. I can't confirm this. I haven't tested it. I haven't tried it. But with a damage proc, I would just cancel the three into the five into the four. Only faster. I'm using a cursor, so it takes me a little time. But when you're playing with your fingers on your phone or playing on an emulator, it'll be a lot easier to do. I just cancel the three into the five into the four. Now, if you want to use that tier three, if you're going to try to use the tier three, which I wouldn't recommend, but it probably would work, then it's a totally different ball game, a different story. And I'll probably make a separate video about that. Maybe if you're trying to do something like that, but I don't think it's really going to work. I really think you need to do three, five, four after you hit the co-op skill. I've tested this multiple times. It works like a champ. He has a fully awakened power of angry hawk set. And I am rocking the CTP of rage. We do have a mythic uniform and he has all of his uniform stats. You got Johnny here, uh, Emma, Wolverine, Captain America, and then Vision. And the uniform effect, of course, gives him, you know, all this enhances, decrease all damage. And he has uh, increased the chain hit damage from his passive. Now, this is a pretty consistent method. Uh, it will fail at times, but it works pretty damn good. And we're going to do stage 60. We already got the team set up. And you want to make sure you have weapon hex. Let's do it. You don't need Dr. Strange, just some damage dealt to super villains, and that's it. So let's see if this works. Now, sometimes it might take two or three tries, but it's it's pretty consistent. Okay, here we go. And look at this. Look at this. Boo. Stage 60. Five seconds. Five second clear. No problem. I think even at tier two, Black Bolt could probably do this. And he's got that damage to super villains on top of his leadership. It's just a crazy team up. It's a crazy team up. That's insane. So now let's go against Ebony. We'll try a... We'll try a stage 70. I don't know if he's going to pull it off, but we'll try it. Okay, now I'm going to use Doctor Strange to try to get past that barrier. I know Black Bolt has Paralyze, but the Paralyze doesn't last very long, and that time freeze does, and it just seems to help. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. You might not need it, to be perfectly honest, but I like to use it instead. I just like to use it. So here we go. And this is stage 70. And Black Bolt is not an elemental character. And... Look at that. Look at that. Now, we didn't get the clear. We didn't get it, right? We didn't get it. But we did get a fast clear. Still 18 seconds. And I'm just doing this off the cuff. I'm just coming in here doing this. This isn't some pre-recorded crap. I didn't have to do these runs multiple times. I'm doing this as I'm talking. There's no editing here. Well, if my game crashes, there will be. But as of so far, it hasn't crashed yet. It probably will, though. We'll see. Now let's, uh, we'll try Scarlet. Uh, we'll try stage 70. I think that might be too high, but we'll try it. Same thing. I'm not using Doctor Strange, but we got to have Weapon Hex, and I want that debuff to help with the Eye of Abyss here. Now, Ancient One's Striker uh, skill isn't going to matter. His Striker bonus, you know, the damage dealt super villains, since uh, Scarlet is not a super villain. But we're just going to have to run around and try to avoid all this crap. Okay. We don't want to get seen by anything. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Run out of here. Now we're going to wait for her. Okay. And not bad, not bad, not bad. Look at that. One shot. I just came in here and did a one shot out of nowhere. It's freaking awesome. It's just so beautiful to see this. It's just so awesome. It's so awesome. That's stage 70 against Scarlet. Stage 70. Holy crap. And we could try Apocalypse here. 
Uh, I don't think he's going to do stage 70, to be perfectly honest. Apocalypse is freaking hard. Got a lot of HP, very difficult. So let's set up a team here. Okay, Universal, we'll put him in there. All, let's put Cap in there. In here, Combat, and we'll slap in Taskmaster. I think I passed up old Taskmaster. There he is. Okay. Same thing. I like having Doctor Strange in there for that time freeze. Weapon Hex, of course, and then damage dealt to super villains. Now, we might die right away because Pock, he's, he's a real pain in the butt. Gonna have to be fast with the fingers. So I took a hell of a lot of damage there. But, now look at that. Stage 60 one shot. We took a lot of damage. A little slow on the draw with the 3-5 combo, you know, before I got that invincibility up. But we just one-shotted this. I mean, this is just insane. I'm coming in here one stage after the next. One world boss after the next. And doing one-shots. Call stage 60. Apocalypse, stage 60. Ebony and Scarlet, stage 70. Pretty freaking nuts. Pretty freaking nuts. Pretty damn insane. Uh, Quicksilver, I'm just not a very high high enough stage. Cable, I'm on a very low stage, so I don't do them. Thanos, I tried it against Thanos multiple times. Uh, it was proving to be very difficult. Uh, it just wasn't working very well. Yeah, you could take him to the next his phase where he doesn't have his all defense down, but a bit of a problem, I can tell you that, uh, as far as that goes. But God Almighty, what a great one shot method because you got four world bosses that you could take down you could take down corvus too but you're gonna have to play it differently and i might show that in another video uh whether or not that would work but it's extremely difficult so it's not something i really want to show because it's really hard but if you guys want to see that i will try that so all in all i think this is absolutely fantastic oh i'm sorry i was going to show you guys the other teams that you could use. I'm sorry, let me get back in here. No, no, no. We, oh, you guys already saw that one. Here. Let's put Cap right there. F for Captain America... It'll work. He'll, he'll use his force skill with Baron Zemo, so you have this crazy leadership. Plus, you get this extra physical attack. It'll work with Namor, which is freaking crazy. That's amazing that it works with Namor. Wow. Uh, it works with Nick Fury as well. So if you have Nick Fury on the team, and then you throw in your damage dealer, that will work also. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways. Actually, you could have put Black Bolt in there. Oh, no, this is the Fisco. We want the Forsco. Never mind, this won't work. Namor, Baron... Uh, Red Guardian, if you have his Awakened skill, it'll work with him. Uh, I mean, there's different combinations that you can use with Captain America, but you'd want to make sure that he's going to use his Force skill. If it isn't his Force skill, if it's his Fist skill, it won't work, but you're not going to get that all defense down. So let me know how you're all feeling about Black Bolt tearing it up with the one shots and the free to play team composition. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.